Roland made a really uh, legitimate point here. Um, I will say, you know, a lot of black men sometimes feel like they're ignored or they're put down, particularly sometimes even by black women in the media. So this is not that. But I do hear Roland's point that felt ignored. But you feel ignored and then you go over to the other side. The oppressed feel oppressed. So then you go and try to align with the oppressor. So I'm not putting black men down. But sometimes it's like, well, some of you Kevin Samuels following Tariq Nasheed quoting people, please look at the truth and see what's happening and get in line with some of the black women is majority, like he said, vote Democrat. But that margin of people who can be plucked away from your people and go advance policies that harm your people, I just don't understand that. This is an MSNBC clip that I found on Tariq Nasheed's Instagram page. And to give context to what's going on, they're talking about the black male vote and how it's trending away from the Democrat Party. As of right now, a majority of black men still vote Democrat, but if this trend continues, then the Democrats will not be able to win elections. And so what they're doing here is they're trying to understand why. What is it that the Republican Party is doing and what is it that the Democrat Party is not doing that's leading to black men leaving? And so everyone on the panel, including Roland Martin, were offering earnest answers. They're truly trying to help. They want to reach black men, except for the host, Tiffany Cross. She straight up has contempt for black men. And so she's resorted to using sign language. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. And condescending shaming tactics. She doesn't want to understand why black men are voting Republican. She just wants them to, quote, get in line, be good boys and do as she says. And I've got a problem with that. First of all, that's not true. The idea that black men are voting Republican because of Kevin Samuels and Tariq Nasheed is an absolute lie. Black men have been trending in that direction since 2016, four years prior to Kevin Samuels becoming a household name. But back then they were blaming Trump and toxic masculinity. So why are they doing it? Why are they blaming Kevin Samuels for black men voting Republican? Because they want Stacey Abrams to be the next governor of Georgia. And she has said, Stacey Abrams that is, that she can't do it without the support of black men. That if black men vote for her, she'll be the next governor. But that's not happening. So instead of taking an examination as to what they've done to push black men away, they need to create a boogeyman. They need another Trump-like target, thus Kevin Samuels because Kevin Samuels in their mind is that Trump-like boogeyman. He's just another thing for them to blame because the left doesn't like accountability. They're allergic to it. And when things go wrong, they deflect and pathologize the people that don't like their ideas. For example, if you're a straight man that doesn't like trans women, you're transphobic. If you don't like watching women play basketball, then you're sexist. If you don't like shows that show women fighting against the patriarchy, then you're misogynistic. And if you're a black man that doesn't vote for the Democrats, you're suffering from toxic masculinity. But this time it's coming from Kevin Samuels instead of Donald Trump. Their ideas aren't bad, you're just evil. And when it comes to Kevin Samuels, this isn't the first time I've seen this. Feminists have always blamed him for their problems. Ever since he's gotten into the mainstream, I've seen multiple videos of feminists blaming him for their relationship failures. Never mind the fact that many of them have been single since the Bush administration, long before Kevin Samuels was around. It's still his fault. He's the reason why everything goes wrong in their life. My point is, just as he has nothing to do with feminists being single, he has nothing to do with black men voting Republican. They're just using him as an excuse to label black men as the problem. Now on to the comments from that condescending witch, Tiffany Cross. What we're going through, Tiffany, is not a feeling. That's a feminine expression, and she knows that. She meant that as a jab, as a challenge to our masculinity. Men don't feel. We come to conclusions based on logic and reason. Then she accuses us of, accuses us of siding with the oppressors. Basically, she's calling us a bunch of Uncle Toms. Then she says, we're not looking at the truth, so we're stupid. We don't see what's going on in her mind. But the thing that baffles me the most is, she ke is that she keeps saying people, 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 your people. What people? I mean, I gotta ask, I gotta ask this question. I gotta ask this question. Because you're on this show with, with cocktails with the queen. And there's a reason for that. It wasn't to have you defend or not defend Donald Trump. It was about 
I care about what's in this contract with Black America for women, and, and it's not we're not mentioned at all in the contract with Black America. And I you are mentioned. I mean, when you when you mention Black people, you mention in Black women, so no. don't count yourself no, out. No, that's not true. Black feminists have made it clear we're not included in their political agenda. They've set themselves apart from us. But in spite of that, she says we should fall in line and vote the way she says we should. Like she has some type of authority over us. That's mad disrespectful. You don't talk to a man, especially if you're a woman, as if he's a child. We're not your sons, Tiffany. And lastly, why should we? Why should black men continue to sacrifice their interests for women who say they aren't with us? Who say they're set apart from us? And that's another thing. We're tired of being tools of the black feminist agenda. Black men have been voting for Democrats faithfully for 50 consecutive years to their benefit, and we've got nothing but contempt in return from them. As a matter of fact, we're not even included in the discussion. When you talk about the black church, you're talking about black women. When you're talking about the black family, you're talking about black women and children. When you're talking about the black vote, you're talking about black women. We're just there in the background to support whatever policies they set. The only time we're mentioned is in reference to being the problem. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. And the president is... Where are the troublesome jiggas that terrorize the community? Or the willful idiots who refuse to go along with the agenda? All we get is policies on how to control us. Now, I'm not saying that black men don't commit crimes. Lord knows some of us do. But to only speak of us in reference to crime is insulting. And for the first time in 50 years, we want more. We want more than just policies on how to lock us up. So if Democrats want to regain the black vote that they've lost, they're going to have to study black men, find out what it is we want and cater to those needs, just like they do with black women or black feminists, rather. And understand something, we're not stupid. So don't come to us with shaming tactics. Don't talk to us about programs for people of color. We're talking about black men. And don't attempt to lecture or talk down to us. Try a different approach and take ownership. Stop blaming other people like Trump or Kevin Samuels or Tariq Nasheed for your failures. Now, if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you will get alerts every time I upload new content. This is The Layman's Journal. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out. And we're allowing the likes of these Kevin Samuels, which are scammers. We have to start to see the value in each other, the true value. Um, Kevin Samuels is somebody that's very popular right now. I think he's one of the worst things for our culture right now. Because I'm a second that. Look at yeah. it.